All right, so if you've ever dreamed of being a firefighter, you want to make a career switch, now might be the perfect opportunity. Fairfield Fire Chief Dennis McCarthy is here, along with Middletown South Fire District Chief Michael Howley. Chiefs, thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having us. So tell me why this is a good time to pursue a career in firefighting. So the fire service in the state of Connecticut, uh, fire chiefs, uh, uh, Team to uh, up to offer one single test uh, okay. that candidates from across the state can compete and apply for jobs in over 16 fire departments. And we anticipate uh, through this process there'll be 75 positions available. Oh, great. Uh, so this is a great opportunity for prospective candidates uh, to apply. Sure. And what is the test like? Is it challenging? I know there's an interview that goes along with it. Yeah, there's a uh, written test that will be coming up uh, in March. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the candidates have up until February 12th to uh, do their application online and get prepared for that, uh, that written test. And then following that, there is uh, one oral interview to finish that up to get their final scoring. Great. And personally, why did you decide to become a firefighter? I'll ask you both that. You know, it's, uh, it, it's funny. You, you, you get that in your blood that you want to serve, you want to help people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so being a firefighter has been very uh, rewarding, very challenging. And, uh, you know, serving the community, sure. it's, it's, it's really nice. Yeah. Chief? Well, I come from a long uh, history of uh, public servants in Massachusetts, uh, police officers, police chiefs, mm -hmm. uh, fire officers, firefighters um, in my family. And actually, I wanted to be a cook. No kidding. Well, <laughs> can you kind of do and, that and as a it firefighter? Does, it worked out very well. <laughs> yes. uh, those skills go to, went to very good use uh, when I was a firefighter. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it is a great opportunity to um, serve the community. Mm -hmm. um, every day is different. Um, the experience uh, that uh, you don't know uh, what the day will bring. Sure. Some are very mundane, and others are yeah. uh, pretty uh, exciting. But uh, in every case, it involves working as part of a team right. with other firefighters, which is uh, a big part of uh, what attracts people to the job, mm -hmm. uh, but also serving the community and helping uh, um, residents mm -hmm. uh, through what may be the worst day of their life oh, and absolutely. finding a way to help them navigate uh, those challenges. I mean, people typically run away from a burning building. Yeah, right. You guys are running in and saving lives. It's such a noble thing to do. Who can be a firefighter? So this test is, uh, and this is the second round of statewide testing, mm -hmm. and uh, our approach is to change the test to make sure that um, we remove all barriers. Sure. Um, unlike uh, myself, there will be candidates that don't have any history, and this is completely new. Um, and we want to make sure that uh, the opportunities are there for for every uh, uh, prospective candidate, male mm -hmm. and female, uh, and uh, we are hoping and, and we have designed the test uh, to remove any barriers to make sure that uh, it is inclusive, that there is no bias in the test mm -hmm. uh, to attract uh, minorities uh, to apply. Do we want fire departments to be reflective of the diversity of their community? Sure. Uh, so we've designed the process to uh, achieve that goal. Sure, and let's talk a little bit beyond the process. You take the test, you pass the test, what happens next? There will be a, a list that will come out uh, a couple months after that that will be distributed to the communities that are involved in the program. And we're able to see that information from their, uh, their test scores, their ranking, to their education, mm -hmm. uh, all their information, contact information, and then we can pull off uh, candidates off of that list in each community, depending on the qualifications that we're looking for, because it does break it down uh, to some of the needs for the different communities you may mm -hmm. need, whether you need an EMT or you need, have to have a paramedic license. Sure. Uh, and then there's also a lot of communities that don't require that, and so they can pull individuals off that, bring them in for an interview, and then take it from there. Hopefully hire some of them. And this is, a, this is competitive, I would say, right? Oh, yes, very much. Yeah, because there's not so many positions, but uh, people should give it a try nonetheless, right? Yes. And and how, yes. it, it, it's typical, and, and uh, Mike is probably in a similar situation. None of us get the job the first time we take the test. Okay. We encourage people That's to, good information. To, uh, yes. to take the test and continue to improve in subsequent uh, tests uh, that are offered. Um, there are candidates that take the test two or three times before they finally get a job offer. Right. Uh, but this time, um, given the number of positions that will open up, I expect uh, that uh, there will be a great opportunity for prospective candidates. That's Fantastic. Yes. Well, let's put some info on the screen. Uh, to apply for the exam, you could log on to isosolutions.com and find the job for the Connecticut Firefighter Testing. So that's how you sign up. Take the test. 
and take it from there, right? That's right. it. Very That's good. Chief, thanks so much for being here thank and for you. the thank information. You. I appreciate it. Thank that. you.